In the vast expanse of the cosmos, humankind continues to chart its course, venturing deeper into the unknown. Welcome to today's Space News. As the frontier of space draws closer, the realities of space tourism are coming into sharper focus. NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur has recently cautioned about the inherent challenges and risks of such ventures. Life in microgravity is not a walk in the park. Simple tasks become challenges, and there's a degree of risk that makes space travel 10,000 times more dangerous than your average flight. Meanwhile, private companies are gearing up to take tourists beyond Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX's Crew Dragon spaceship is preparing for its next launch, carrying not astronauts but space tourists into the unknown. Billionaire Jared Isaacman, who chartered the flight, emphasizes the need for mental toughness and comfort with discomfort. This is just the beginning. Other companies like Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin are also developing their own space tourism programs. Elon Musk's grand vision of a self-sustaining human colony on Mars and Jeff Bezos's dreams of off-planet colonies are pushing the boundaries of what we once thought possible. As we push the boundaries of human exploration, we inch closer to becoming a spacefaring species, making what once seemed impossible, possible. The Moon, our closest celestial neighbor has long captivated the human imagination. Now it stands as the next frontier for colonization. As we gaze up at the night sky the moon ever present and unchanging symbolizes the daring spirit of human exploration and our perpetual quest to venture into the unknown. In the grand scheme of lunar exploration, the Artemis program stands as a beacon of ambition and ingenuity. Led by NASA, this program aims to return humans to the moon by the mid-20s, with a goal of establishing a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface by the end of the decade. The program is named after Apollo's twin sister Artemis, the goddess of the moon in Greek mythology, symbolizing the commitment to include all of humanity in this endeavor. But the Artemis program isn't a solo venture. It represents an unprecedented level of collaboration between international partners, each contributing their own unique expertise and resources. This global effort underlines the importance of unity in achieving a common goal. After all, the moon is a shared heritage of all mankind. Establishing a permanent human presence on the moon isn't just about exploration. It's about science, understanding our universe better, and preparing for future missions to Mars and beyond. A lunar base would serve as a scientific outpost allowing researchers to study the moon's geology, climate, and potential resources in greater detail. It could also serve as a testbed for new technologies and a stepping stone for deeper space exploration. Moreover, a moon colony holds strategic importance. It would ensure that humanity has a backup, a second home, should any catastrophic event threaten life on Earth. It's about survival, about ensuring the continuity of our species. The moon, once a distant dream, is now within our reach, set to become humanity's first off-world colony. As we march towards this new era of space exploration, we're not just making history, we're shaping the future. And in this future, we're not just Earthlings, we're citizens of the cosmos. As nations and corporations race towards the moon, Russia too has its gaze fixed on our celestial neighbor. The country that launched the first human into space over six decades ago is not content to rest on its laurels. Instead, Russia is setting its sights on a bolder objective, establishing a permanent human presence on the moon. This ambitious plan is not a flight of fancy. Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, has a detailed roadmap to make it a reality. The first step is the launch of Luna 25, an unmanned spacecraft designed to explore the moon's south pole, a region of particular interest due to its potential for water ice. But Luna 25 is just the beginning. The ultimate goal is the construction of a crewed lunar base, a scientific outpost that could serve as a stepping stone for future missions to Mars and beyond. The timeline for these plans is as ambitious as the goals themselves. Russia aims to have a fully operational moon base by the end of the decade. To achieve this, Roscosmos will have to overcome a host of technological and logistical challenges. From developing a new generation of spacecraft capable of ferrying humans to and from the moon, to building habitats that can withstand the harsh lunar environment, Russia's lunar ambitions pose significant hurdles. Yet, the implications of a successful Russian moon base go beyond the realm of science and technology. It could reshape the dynamics of international space politics. As nations grapple with questions of lunar sovereignty and the prospect of a new space race, Russia's lunar ambitions could serve as a catalyst for a new era of cooperation or competition in space. 
With its ambitious lunar plans, Russia is poised to write a new chapter in the annals of space exploration. As we watch these developments unfold, one thing is certain. The race to the moon is far from over. It's a thrilling time to be a space enthusiast, as we bear witness to humanity's next giant leap into the cosmos.